Okay, so I'm on a bit of a roll, <laughs> so I want to carry on. This part of your pelvis here, yeah, your pubic bone, which you can feel, um, and here is your coccyx. Your coccyx comes back when you're birthing, all right? So when your baby is here, okay, your baby's going through like a little U-bend, okay? So this is why when we you are birthing your baby, we can see a little bit of the top of the baby's head and then it goes back again. A little bit of the baby's head and then it keeps going back again. It sort of rocks there for a bit. Then all of a sudden, your baby's head hits your pelvic floor, called the part of the pelvic floor called the Ferguson's reflux, okay? That's what makes you push expulsively. So then with good pushing, listening to your body, following what your body's telling you to do, all of a sudden we just see more and more of your baby's head and they stop doing the rocking and going back. Now, if you're on your back, this is much more work for you, rather like going around that U-bend, rather than being upright. See, when you're upright, gravity helps. It also allows your coccyx to release by being off it. So if you've got an epidural, get your, get your team to put you in an upright position. We call it throne position when you're having your baby. Or even better, be forward, round on all fours to really help baby come round and down and out. I hope this helps.